few months has gone on since we was last uh, shooting with the shotguns uh, and Gary's brought me to another one of his permissions uh, and this time the actual corn's been cut so we're on stubble uh, I've just turned up, Gary's been here probably about an hour and a half uh, and he's already had five pigeons so hopefully we'll catch a few more on camera for you this time This is the hide what Gary's constructed and it's made basically of four poles uh, and an army cam net and he's put it up with the edge as his backdrop uh, and the idea is obviously he sits behind that on a stool and as the birds come in along the flight line he can then see them come in and he just pops up with the shotgun uh, and shoots them as they fly in. Right Gary set out a decoy pattern and the two types of decoy we're using is firstly this one which looks like a mould of a half bird and you can see it's bobbing around nicely in the wind on a stake what comes with it and it's very effective I suppose from birds flying over this spot in the movement of the pigeon it just looks like it's pecking down at the ground and feeding. The other type of decoy we're using is a real bird and this is one what Gary shot earlier and you can see what he's done is pushed a metal spoke uh, through the ground and into the bird's head propping it up making it look like a, a live bird what's just stood up in the stubble and from what he tells me this type of decoy works a lot better than the actual plastic ones. Right there's the pigeon magnet set up and what Gary's done now is put two of the shot birds actually on the pigeon magnet so instead of having the uh, the lifelike decoys uh, these are real decoys you can see the corn's been cut now and if I come around this way you can see is that your plastic decoy pattern set out? Well, I've only been with Gary about 10 minutes now, and about four or five birds have already come in, uh, but they've just been a little bit too far out of range to actually shoot with a shotgun. So, what Gary's done is he's moved the pigeon magnet a little bit closer towards the hide and set it up using the real shot birds. And hopefully, this will bring the birds in now closer along the flight line uh, and we'll be able to shoot them on camera for you. Great shot mate. That's Gary just picked up the bird he's just shot and now he's setting it up as a decoy and putting it into the pattern. What are you saying about the decoy? So if you can set them out, I'd, a good thing to use is cradles. If you can, you can buy these cradles that the birds sit in because you want them in a position where they look as though they're feeding. The birds come over so fast, all they're looking for is the markings of the other birds on the floor. All right. Here he comes. Well, come on, he's going to come. Come on, baby. Here he comes. Great shot, mate. Gary's just going to up that one is just shot and set it probably in the pattern. <laughs> you see the feathers now? Gary's just shot another one and I didn't get record press fast enough. But you can see it was a brilliant shot anyway. Right, I've just come out of the hide now uh, and Gary's going to pick up this one he's just got, what I missed off camera but I did show you, uh, there's a load of feathers. What you just saw is the bird falling out of the sky. I actually missed the shot, but you did see the bird falling. And you can see the damage, what the shotgun pellets have actually done to it. There's actually not much left of the uh, crop or the uh, breast on that one. So we can't really use that in the decor pattern. Oh, a lovely shot. 
Yeah, I'm recording. Good shot. Nice. Well, as you just witnessed, that's another nice clean kill for the semi-automatic shotgun uh, with the mossy oak type real tree camouflage on. It's really starting to uh, pay dividends now, this rifle. Yes, a good amazing. shot. Oh, a nice shot. Landing here. Have we got both on them? No, surely not. What I'm actually doing is stood behind Gary's net, which he's hiding behind. But I've got the, obviously the Jack Pike ghillie suit on uh, with the head over and balaclava. Uh, and what's been happening is, as you saw, the pigeons have been flying towards me. They've not seen me at all. So this suit is working a treat, as Gary just said. And it's allowing me then to just turn on the camera uh, and film as the birds are coming in. Good shot. Oh, that's another one. It's woody as well. Right, Gary's just shot a pigeon and I didn't have the camera ready. He was actually speaking on the phone, I had to drop his phone, pick up the shotgun and then he still uh, was good enough to actually hit the bird. Two coming in. Great shot, mate. Did you get it? Yep. Yep, there we go. Good shot. Lovely shot, mate. There's two coming in at once here, look, and I'm stood here in the Jack Pike suit. I'm sure it's going to sweep onto this. There he comes, look. Oh, a lovely shot, Gary. Cracking. Stone dead. Oh, cracking shot. There, look, landing. Good shot. Two out of two. Good shot. Oh, stone dead. Shot. Oh, yes. Well, that's it for today. We've decided to call it a day. And I've had an excellent time with Gary and I'd like to thank him on camera for inviting me. Uh, and he's done a cracking job. He ended up, if I just pan down, 17 woodies and 7 feral pigeons. So the farmer is going to be really happy with that tally. And that's going to be a lot of grain and barley what's not going to be stolen due to uh, the work what Gary's doing. So thanks again Gary.